This is Channel 5, News at 5. Hello, I'm Sarah. And I'm Dina. Here with your Channel 5 News at 5. Today's top story is about the Dead Sea. And the many sinkholes surrounding it. Yes, and with more on the story, here's Samara. Thanks, Sarah. And as you can see, I'm here at the Dead Sea, which is actually dying. There are many aquifers that supply the lake below us. These aquifers are drying out, causing the earth to collapse. There are many sinkholes around here, swallowing roads, hotels, and resorts. Back to you, Sarah. Ah! Is she okay? Um, there are now over 1,000 sinkholes <laughs> near the Dead Sea. And the number is growing. Um, we have to go to commercial now. We'll be right back. This program was brought to you by Jordan. Miles and miles of sand on end. And camels. Stop that. Now please enjoy this infomercial. <sighs> Are you tired of America? What? Who said that? Who's there? Is it a ghost? Are you bored with our U.S. dollars? Yes. Yes, I am. Then come to Jordan, where we don't have any of that. I'm there. Whoa, where am I? You're in Jordan, my good fellow. Wow. Hi, welcome to Jordan. What's that she's holding? That there is the Jordanian flag. Unfortunately, their main language is Arabic. Aw, then I can't understand her. But some understand English, too. Oh, that's good. While you're there... You might want to take a look at places like Zarga and Urban, two major cities, or their capital, Amman. What's there to see in Amman? There's a Rome theater. Well, would you like a dinar? <gasps> well, I am a little bit hungry. Not dinner, dinar. What's a dinar? It's the Jordanian currency. One dinar is worth 71 American cents. Oh! Let's trade. Thank you. I can't wait to show my friends. They <laughs> are. Well, there goes our Jordanian. Let's talk about Jordanian religion. Sounds great. Hi! Say, Jordanian, what religion do you practice? I'm a Sunni Muslim, like 92% of the 6,200,000 people in Jordan. That sure is a lot of people. You bet. Could you tell me about the history of Jordan? Sure, I'd be delighted. So... Well, in 1250 B.C., the children of Israel entered the Promised Land through Jericho after marching through Jordan. Wow! And also, in 661 A.D., Umayyad Dynasty occupied the east of Jordan River and built a series of fortresses to protect Jordan Valley. Tell me more. Well... In 1920 A.D., Jordan, initially known as Transjordan, emerged as a separate territory. Splendid! Okay, and finally, in 1967, Jordan had a war with Israel. But, in 1994, they signed a full peace treaty. That's good. And that's only a brief history of Jordan. Jordan sounds like a great place to vacation. <laughs> Tickets are only $600. Just call 555-555-5555. Call now and receive a free sponge with every ticket. And if you call in the next five seconds, you will receive... Um, never mind. <laughs>